Hello ladies, my name is Nourish from Caitlin and today I just wanted to go over with you the recipe for the bitters that I made the other day. So um, it's getting to be fall where we want to use a lot of wonderful nice fall flavors. This is such an easy recipe that you can make at home or um, if you don't feel like making anything then you can go ahead and buy some from the grocery store or online. There's a lot of really good companies that make bitters and I'm going to talk a little bit about what bitters are. Um, what they do for us. They are such a good tool to have in your in your um, medicine cabinet or in your pantry. Um, so one brand of bitters that, um, let's see, one brand of bitters that I recommend if you don't feel like making your own is Urban Moonshine. I don't know if you can see that, but this is a really great brand. Now let me just show you how it works. So you want to take um, a full um, uh, a dropper full um, each time you um, before you eat your meal or else these um, same company the same company urban moonshine does like a little spray bottle so I will always keep a spray bottle of their bitters or my own in my purse um, if I'm going out to eat or you know if I'm on the run and I'm eating which you shouldn't be um, you should eat in a relaxed state remember so Urban Moonshine is a great one, but I'm going to tell you the recipe that I use that I made my own bitters. Um, so, and but before that, let me backtrack and just tell you a little bit about what bitters are and why they are so good for the digestion. So, bitters are a combination of any kind of bitter herb or food that we can use, and you just mix it up and, um, in a alcohol-based formula. So it does have a little bit of alcohol, never hurt anybody, just a little bit, um, but it stimulates your digestion. So it is so good to have before your meals. You want to take a dropper full, like I said before, right before your meal, and it's going to really reduce your gas, your bloating. It's just so incredibly beneficial. Like I said, I keep one, the spray bottle, in my purse wherever I go. I love it. So let me just show you this recipe that I found that I absolutely love. You can tweak it a little bit. Um, you want to use all the great bitter foods that we don't get enough of. As Americans, we love to have all of our sweets and we don't eat enough bitter in our diet. So we need our bitters to help digest all the good protein and fats. We need these things. So when you think of bitter, Think of like arugula and grapefruit. Um, all of these are great at stimulating the digestion. They are so good and they're not actually that bitter. Yes, arugula can be a little spicy, you know, maybe a little bit stronger tasting is the word we want, but coffee is also a bitter tasting herb or food. Um, let's see, dandelion is another one. Chicory is a really good one. But just, we want to use things that help to stimulate the digestion. So fennel, um, you know, artichokes, gentian, that's an herb. That's a really good one. That's a really bitter one. So a lot of times we will mix these bitter tasting herbs with something um, that's going to be a little less harsh, like orange. And this recipe, this particular recipe, uses a little bit of honey as well, which is really nice. Okay, so I am taking this recipe from this excellent book. I love this book. Um, it's called Alchemy of Herbs, and it's by Rosalie de la Flore. Um, so this is the artichoke and orange bitters. Now you can order all of these herbs online. I love the company Mountain Rose Herbs. So you can make your own, but like I said, if you don't have time, you can go ahead and buy one from a reputable company like that Urban Moonshine that I was talking about. That's a really good one. Okay, so I'll write it down for you too, so you, if you don't have time to write it down now. But I just wanted to go over the ingredients and a few of the things that I changed out because I did not have everything. So that's one thing I love about cooking is that you can be creative and change things out. Alright, so this is a picture of the bitters and this is the one from the recipe book, so it looks beautiful. And I sent you a picture, I think in the couple of the posts below um, on the Facebook group of um, the bitters that I made and how it turned out and it was just so good. It was it had such a nice fall flavor. Um, I just really loved it. Um, okay, so this one calls for a quarter cup of dried hawthorn berries. Hawthorn is excellent for the heart. You know, it can be, um, it's just a really, really good herb and it is... Um, very high in vitamin C as well. 
Okay, so I did not have any hawthorn. So what did I use? I used rose petals and rose hips, which are also really high in vitamin C. Now remember, um, you can get all of these things online, um, and then once you make this up, it's so much more affordable than buying the little individual um, containers. Okay, and bitters are so imperative, they are so good for our digestion. So, one quarter cup of the dried hawthorn, you can replace it with rose hips. One quarter cup of dried dandelion root. Now, dandelion root is an excellent liver detoxer, so this is a really good one. One tablespoon of fennel seed. Fennel seed is so good for bloating um, after dinner, um, you know, fullness and gas and everything. So it's excellent at reducing all of those things that you do not want. Um, one teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, which you should all have black pepper in your pantry. And then I used a quarter cup of whole hibiscus. So you can actually find this hibiscus tea in most any grocery store, um, food line, you know, carries it, every place carries it. So hibiscus tea, look in the Hispanic section. They have a wonderful um, hibiscus tea. It also makes a great iced tea as well. So take the little tea bags, undo them, and just put this in the container when you're making your bitters. Um, okay, one tablespoon of artichoke leaves. My mom was actually growing some artichoke um, leaves, so I just snipped off the artichokes and artichoke leaves, not the, not the um, edible part that you're eating, but the leaves are incredibly medicinal. So the leaves are so good for digest digest digestion, so they are excellent. Um, now let's see, two tablespoons of coriander seeds. You can find this in the grocery store, definitely in the spice area. And then this is the part that I loved. It made this um, concoction so good. One whole orange, um, organic if you can, you know, or wash really, really well, because you want to include the peel. So you want to dice the whole entire thing up. So make sure that it's organic or, you know, wash really well. Okay, and then a quarter cup of honey, and then three cups of vodka. So what you wanna do is you wanna have a big jar. You kinda saw my jar in the picture that I had beforehand, and you wanna put all of your herbs in there. You wanna pour your honey, it's gonna be nice and thick and viscous, and then you wanna pour your vodka all to top it all off. You're gonna give it a nice good stir, cap it, and let it sit in your pantry in a dark cupboard for a couple of weeks. Every day or every other day, you want to shake that mixture. Then after a couple of weeks, you're going to go ahead and strain it off, and you're going to have a wonderful mixture of bitters that you can put into small bottles, because this makes a lot, right? So it probably makes a quart. Um, so this will last you all winter long and probably um, beyond that. So, because like I said, you just are gonna take a dropper full um, half a dropper to a dropper. It's going to stimulate your saliva, which is going to help to start to break down all the food. So this is so important to do before your meals. Now, another fun thing about bitters, if you're like, Ugh, no, I don't like the taste of it, um, you can put it in a little cup of water and, and take it that way if it's too strong to begin with. Sometimes we're not used to having a lot of bitter foods in our life because we eat so many sweets. So we're not used to eating a lot of bitter foods, so it can be a little, a little much in the beginning. So take it with a small glass of water, or why don't you mix it into some of your cocktails? So if anybody has heard of um, bitters for cocktail making, um, Angostura bitters is a really popular one. That's in a lot of um, old fashioned cocktails. That was used traditionally, so bitters have been around forever. Um, that was used traditionally for, uh, as a pre-digestive drink, you know, before their uh, nice heavy meals that they were getting ready to eat, and who knows where that meat came from. They wanted to stimulate their digestion and get it ready for that big meal that they were having. So, um, so don't forget to take your bitters. This is such a good thing to have in your toolbox and it's so fun to make. Um, it really smells delicious. And like I said, you can use it in lots of different ways. Put it in your mocktails. If you put a little dropper full um, and top it with some sparkling water and maybe a squeeze of orange, oh my gosh, it would be such a good mocktail to have for the fall. So I hope you enjoy. I'll type it out for you. I'll write the recipe down in case you didn't hear all of that. 
but it's so fun. I hope that you make it, um, or else I hope that you explore and maybe buy some bitters online and just try it, give it a try, see if it helps, um, and let me know how it goes. Thanks again.